and gentlemen, the buzz is here. We're moving on to the last two cards of the wisdom aspect. It's time for me to face the truth. Let's get right into it. New Horizons. This is the card I've been dreading to judge because I wasn't sure what to say. Part of me wants to say it's overpowered, but part of me doesn't. So here's here's the part of me that wanted to say it is and why. It's because this card is just so, so good to have on turn two. Because if you play it on turn two, then on turn three, you immediately have access to like a library guard or a mutant or a harpy. And that gives you a tremendous upper hand when facing some something like aggro or really really anything in a mirror match if let's say you're a casual there is and you face another casual there is opening up horizons and if they don't have a horizons that puts you really ahead because then you can get a library guards on the board first and that means usually they can't play a library guards without you getting a kill on it for free so it just really really pushes you ahead and another thing the new horizons can do is that it can cycle out the useless skill shrines, like copies of skill shrines. So, you know, Sanctum is pretty popular to use in casual dares. So you just play one Sanctum and then you, you horizon away the other ones. So it's just tremendous. One thing that is keeping it a little bit, you know, out of reach of Overpowered, on the other hand, is that if you don't open with it, at least one or two of them will be kind of dead, but not always. Next, like one turn heal can always make use of it because they can always make use of additional order aspects. And that's generally where the abuse of the card comes. It's in the decks that specifically abuse having a lot of levels of the same kind. And for casual dares, it is for Word of Pain and Consume. For one turn heal, it is the healing from Word of Grace, of course. So, dum dum dum, the judgment. Is it then overpowered? I'm going to say no. Barely. Because while it is good and it is nice to open with it, and it does sometimes feel like getting more of these in the mirrors gives you a large advantage, I kind of also feel that this is partly due to the fact that these decks just don't have anything better to do on turn two. The only alternative, really, is something like Disquisitive Spirit. That's the only, like, reasonable two-drop for those kinds of decks. Well, you know, Runelet Incarnate is there, but if Casual Dares can't really make use of it very well. So, the card is just so nice to have, but I think calling it overpowered would be a bit of a stretch. And I mean, it's nice that we have this card because it allows you to open up deck building possibilities, making it easier to multicolor, right? And this card is the best of the ramp spells because being able to go up an aspect is something that normally doesn't draw a card anyways. But more importantly, you can go up any of the aspects in your deck. So if you want to build a rainbow deck, New Horizons is perfect for you. So I wouldn't want to see this card go away, and that's why I can't call it overpowered. Because I feel like the world of Asperia would be a little bit worse off without it. Even though we have Obelisk of Unity, which also lets you multicolor. I kind of wish rainbow decks were better. It's just hard to make one work. Because it's a very slow kind of deck, since you have to play cards like this and Obelisk. And then, you know, your opponent is playing goblins and stuff. So, yeah... I'm going to hesitantly call it that. I may be wrong, but I don't quite think it's on the same level of a powerful turn 2 play as, say, Burning Rage. So, that's how I'm going... That that's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it with this one. And the other card... Oh, man. The Thomic Reflector. A.K.A. the reason one turn heal exists. Well, I mean, along with Word of Grace. Thomic Reflector is a cool card. I like the idea of multiplying spells. But is this idea a little bit too powerful? And the answer is... Yes. 
And this is because... Well, I don't think it's overpowered now, but... Think about this. If more spells are added to the game, right? If it's possible to use less aspects... You know, while running such a deck... Reflector will only get better and better. Right now, the Wisdom spells are not that great to copy. You got, you know, card draw, you got flash freezes, whatever. But if we got better blue spells, then if you could just stick to three aspects, Reflected could become insane. The big issue with this card, though, is the fact that multiple Reflectors allow you to reflect the same spell over and over again. And that's how stuff like one turn heal works, and it's kind of obnoxious. Because if the spell draws a card, you draw a card for each time you copied it, and you get the effect that many times, and it can get pretty ridiculous. So if you have three reflectors, every single spell is completely devastating to a ridiculous extent. What I'd like to see actually is reflector, if it reflects something, that something be put back into your deck. Because we don't actually have any ways to put spells back in in the deck other than blood will matriarch but that works on your opponent's spells so you can't use it to put your spells back in the deck so yeah that little bit of a redesign on reflector would i think be really good because a card like this will inevitably just be out of control just like burning rage is like on the edge of breaking the game but just barely not because the rage spells are kind of lackluster Inevitably, there'll be more spells. And then with every new spell, the possibility for Reflector being ridiculous increases. So just like Burning Rage, while it's maybe not as ridiculous as Burning Rage because it's slower, I think it will have to be addressed at some point. So maybe we should put it in the category of not yet, just like Portal was. Not overpowered yet, but could be in the future. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. Not yet. There you go. Anyways, uh, so that's it for the wisdom aspect. I think I covered everything I wanted to say. And we'll be moving on to another one. We're going to uh, sw swing over into nature. There's some uh, interesting cards there. Hope to see you there. And I'll see you next time.